What's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning into the channel and welcome back to the Superman Collector's Walk. Hey, today we're going to get all into George Reeves collectible items, so stay tuned. But first, I just want to thank you guys so much for the tremendous support we've received on the channel so far. Um, already lots of views, lots of subscribers. So if you like what we do here, please make sure to give this video a like and to make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome Superman collectibles. Well, hey, who is your Superman? If you're like me, about my age, I'm 29, maybe your Superman growing up was uh, was Tom Welling in Smallville. Uh, if you're a little bit older, maybe in your 40s and 50s, maybe the first time you saw Superman on screen was Christopher Reeve and Superman the movie and Superman 2, 3, and 4. But for a lot of people, their first exposure to a live-action Superman was none other than George Reeves and the Adventures of Superman. Now, unfortunately, there's not a ton of merchandise out on the market for those of us who want to collect George Reeves. But there's a, real, a couple really cool items and some maybe non-licensed merchandise that we'll get into today that you can add to your collections. All right, so some of the collectibles we'll start with today featuring George Reeves as Superman are copies of the magazine TV Guide. So obviously TV Guide um, was a kind of the staple for television uh, entertainment news and, and things of that nature. And George Reeves' Adventures of Superman was one of the biggest shows on TV, especially in syndication after the fact. So as we look at the TV Guides, there's really two main ones that most collectors look at. The first one is the only appearance of George Reeves on the cover, which is this beautiful uh, TV Guide edition right here, as you can see. Um, but it's got a, a whole article on the inside as well on how they make Superman fly. Um, just some really, really cool stuff. Uh, this is from September 25th of 1953. Another one that people often look at is this amazing centerfold spread here. So I'll show you what the cover looks like on this one. Uh, but a lot of collectors grab this because you've got that awesome color image on the inside. Um, and then you have other TV guide editions here like these two here um, that have small mentions of the program or ads inside. So this is one of my favorites right here because it's got an ad for The Adventures of Superman in Dayton, Ohio, which is a, uh, a city fairly close to where I uh, live here. While we're on the topics of magazines, here's a, uh, another edition that I found at a local toy show of Uncensored Magazine uh, featuring right there on the cover, Mr. George Reeves himself. Perhaps the most well-known and officially licensed items related to the George Reeves television series are the trading cards. So uh, as you can see here, this is a custom binder done by a friend of mine. Uh, but inside we have the, the complete card set um, done here by Tops, I believe, of... The Adventures of Superman featuring George Reeves. Um, but you can really see cool there. And as we go through, I've got them all organized um, by number um, and just some really, really cool imagery here. Uh, I also have here the original display box uh, that these wax packs would be in. And then one of the wrappers here that would uh, wrap, obviously, the pack of cards that you would buy for just five cents. A couple other smalls here. You have these paper cups from KTTV11. Um, you got this awesome little television uh, pin back there. Um, and then, of course, this well known George Reeves black and white ring. So, I want to talk about this stash here. This is one of uh, a series done by uh, artist Terry Reynolds. It was a, uh, a kit that you'd have to put together yourself and you could do paintings. But they, I've seen this one. There's a Clark Kent one. Um, and then there's one of uh, George Reeves flying as Superman. While, while these were not officially licensed, he did produce them under the name IDC Studios or for I Don't Care, uh, ironically enough. Um, but there's some really cool stuff whenever you see these. They're pretty hard to find, typically a couple hundred bucks when you find them. Uh, but all the paint jobs will be slightly different because, again, these were sold as a kit. We will touch on this further in another episode, guys. But while we're on the topic of George Reeves, I just wanted to mention I do have an original script from the show, uh, episode The Brainy Burrow right there and like i said we'll get into that more in another episode uh but i just wanted to show it uh while we were talking about george reeves so again make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see all about that later so every time i take someone down here in my collection room one of the uh one of the pieces that always gets a reaction are these guys behind me here 
So you've got Superman and the Mole Men, uh, which are some of the creepiest collectibles in my collection. But these are done by artist Adam Sheet. Um, they are based off the episode, or rather two episodes, of Superman and the Mole Men, which would have served as the premiere of the Adventures of Superman television series, um, kind of as a standalone movie, and then repackaged together for episodes later in that first season. Um, but as you can see, they're super weird. They're very creepy. But for some reason, they spoke to me. So I picked these guys up for a couple hundred dollars a piece. Um, I thought they were awesome. Uh, and no matter how much crap I get about them, I'm going to love them just the same. A couple other items I wanted to touch on here in the George Reeves shelf. As I've got some original life casts of George Reeves there uh, that show his face, which is kind of cool. Um, these little photos, postcard type things. Um, gotten right there behind the trading card box is the Nick at Night plate of the 1990s. That's a pretty affordable collectible. You can typically get that for $50 to $75. So if you're looking for a starter piece for George Reeves, that would be the piece to get. Now that clock back there might look out of place um, because obviously it's much newer than what that uh, The Adventures of Superman would have been. But that clock actually belonged to Miss Noelle Neal who played Lois Lane in the series. It's signed by her on both sides and it actually still has the grease uh, when it was taken directly out of her kitchen when she donated it to a charity auction in Metropolis, Illinois. Now these guys here are, are actually uh, printing blocks that were used to print uh, the press book for Superman in the Mole Men, um, which I also have in my collection. I'll show you guys another time, but really cool part of the pre-production process. Uh, kind of like some of the stuff we talked about in my prototypes video a few episodes back. Now I wanted to talk for a second about uh, newspaper mentions of George Reeves. So um, obviously when George Reeves passed away, um, his his death was a pretty big deal, so that that was featured in uh, several different newspapers. You can see Superman t TV's CV Superman kills self with gun, um, and then a lot of cool articles here. Um, and then this, which might be my favorite, is George Reeves would do appearances at, at county fairs and uh, different events as Superman um, to provide entertainment for children locally. So that's what this is. It's an advertisement of uh, getting tickets to see Superman. Um, at, let's see if I can find it on there, uh, biggest show of the year. That's right, the Kentucky State Fair Stadium stage, Monday, September 9th, 1957. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel to check out more awesome videos about Superman collectibles. Hopefully this taught you about some of the stuff out there from Mr. George Reeves and the adventures of Superman. Uh, thanks so much again, guys.